Hey guys, it's Broyuwak, and the brand new Overwatch 2 event, Junkenstein's Revenge, The Wrath of the Bride, is right around the corner. But you all know what can make this the scariest event of all time? Bring it back, Bastion and Competitor! Now, if you guys have never played Overwatch before, they always have these limited time events celebrating either in real life holidays, whether it's Halloween, Christmas, or Lunar New Year, or just made up holidays in the case of the Archives and Anniversary event. And for the past six years, Halloween has always been celebrated in Overwatch with the Junk and Sound Revenge event, where you can get Halloween skins from these cute little loot boxes decorated like Halloween buckets filled with candy. They also redesigned maps like with Hollywood and Eichenwald, and they also have the PvE game mode Junk and Sound Revenge, where you fight hordes of Zomnix. And all of that is returning and more with the newly reimagined Junk and Sound Revenge Wrath of the Bride event, where this is primarily going to be focusing around Sombra, who is the bride of Junkenstein. And I don't think any Rule 34 artist could ever imagine Sombra and Junkrat being canonly married within Overwatch, but yep, here we are. Now, we have known this event was coming for such a long time because in the trailer for Overwatch 2, it was unveiled that there was going to be a free limited time event taking place on October 25th through November 8th, and that's literally going to be this Tuesday for only two weeks. That's kind of surprising because usually Overwatch events last for three weeks, at least in the case of Overwatch 1. And usually what happens with these events, or at least in the case of the Halloween events, there's always five legendary skins and three free episodes epic skins that you could get from the loot boxes and also just playing the game. But because loot boxes are no longer available and because Overwatch isn't looking to give away free skins, what I'm guessing is going to happen is that there's going to be a section within the seasonal shop where you could either get just the skins outright from this specific Halloween event or have skin bundles specifically featured from the five heroes in this promotional art, which is of course somber because this is her event, but also Ash, the Junker Queen, Kuriko, and Sorger. But then that brings up a question, well what skins can we expect? expect from this limited time event. And so far we only know of three confirmed skins. That is the free Pirate Reaper skin, that is the Witch Kuriko skin, and also this uh, weird BDSM <laughs> Junker Queen skin that we see in the promotional art and very shortly in the trailer for Overwatch 2. And, and for the past couple of weeks I've been seeing people find the leaked Halloween Kuriko skin and posting on Twitter when we already knew we were going to be getting a Halloween Kuriko skin because it was in the trailer. But man, the Kuriko skin is so adorable. Witch Mercy, you can eat your heart out because we have a brand new witch in town. But besides the heroes getting a redesign, I don't know if any new maps are going to be getting the Halloween treatment. I do know Hollywood, Eichenwald, and also Chateau Gear are going to be coming back because why wouldn't it? Those are awesome looking maps for the Halloween event. But I would love to see a map get another Halloween treatment. Like, I'd love to see Queen Street get decorated for Halloween. I'd love to see how the Canadians celebrate Halloween. Uh, probably the same, but, but I don't know. <laughs> and when it comes to the game, mode, what I'm guessing is going to happen is that it's not going to change too much for two reasons. One, it takes a lot of time to change a game mode to make a game mode really good, and two, the game mode that they have, which is Junk and Slime's Revenge, is already so good and there's so many people that haven't played this game mode that Blizzard probably thinks, eh, why put an effort to change it when we can put our efforts into other things like PvE, like the campaign version of Overwatch 2, like the whole PvE experience. We're probably just going to get a brand new mob boss in the case of Sombra, the Bride of Junkenstein, and we're just going to get four brand new characters playable in the story part of Junkenstein's Revenge. You can already play all the heroes with like the No Limits version of Junkenstein's Revenge, but the actual storyline that features Soldier 76, Cole, Cassidy, Anna, and um, I'm forgetting the other one. But there's also a separate storyline featuring Widowmaker, Torbjörn, and Hanzo. Oh, it was Hans! It was Hans! Oh, no wonder I forgot the other hero. <laughs> but there's probably going to be an additional side story featuring Ash, Junker Queen, Kuriko, and Swordroom because those are the four heroes that we see in the promotional art for the Bride of Junkenstein. Which I mean, we're already getting a little bit of lore on the Overwatch Twitter, but either way, I'm still excited to see what they can add to the story of Junkenstein, even though it's not that integral of a story when it comes to Overwatch's story. But besides that, that's all really the information that we know of so far when it comes to the brand new Halloween event. And I'm very excited because for the past couple of Halloween events, it's been very lackluster. Yeah, they delivered some great skins every now and then, but I'm really happy that they're just reimagining the events, but still bringing back at least the fan favorite events in the case of Halloween. I'm sure they're gonna bring a winter event back because Christmas is the biggest holiday in the whole entire world, and plus Christmas is my favorite holiday. Like, I love Halloween, but
but uh, Christmas, th that's my go-to holiday. <laughs> so grab your candy and dress up as a Hanzo May because frankly, that is the scariest thing that you can ever do this holiday season. And I will see you on October 25th with more information and probably more videos for this Halloween event. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.